I can't believe they left this out. After all the hard work they put into this game to pluck at our nostalgia strings. Sergeant McDowish, welcome to the City of Souls. They forgot the most memorable game mode of my childhood. Back when I was playing the original Modern Warfare as a young lad, I was always clicking the hardcore playlist button. Why? Now I could say it's because I prefer slower movements and those intense moments, or that it's because the teenager me wanted to be the hyper operator and do a bunch of cool stuff I saw on TV. But after playing a lot of the DMZ in Warzone lately, I think I know the real reason I wanted to play hardcore mode. I am absolutely horrible at tracking. Don't expect me to be hitting multiple headshots across the map with any weapon. Nope. And while I've heard controllers do fix this a bit, I am not convinced that my $20 Xbox controller and seven to eight years of lost muscle memory are going to be helpful in this game. So I guess for now, until I get hours upon hours upon hours of practice, I'm just going to have to accept that I'm pretty bad at this game. But I'm a little off topic here. This is tier one, a newly branded hardcore game mode that makes me feel like I'm worth something. The only game mode that can make hip fire possible outside of 10 meters. And more importantly, some crazy fun. I love that it feels a little bit like sand Sandstorm because of the direction they've taken this game, though Sandstorm is still definitely slower paced, at least most of the time. But with these gunplay mechanics and the hardcore experience that is tier 1, I can't believe they forgot to make sure that this hardcore mode worked at launch. I know there were some issues and some bugs, which is why it wasn't here at launch, but they've worked out those kinks, and luckily, with the Season 1 launch, it's here, and well... It feels pretty good. All right, so something you need to be aware of, I forgot Enemy to mention taken, this, Bravo. is that if you call a UAV in, all of the green dots disappear. That is definitely not uh, ideal, but I uh, wanted to show that before we got into it. I, I think that that's a, an oversight there. <laughs> they should have uh, should have fixed that. But anyway, on to the regular gameplay. All right, gamers, so today we are using the newly acquired M13. Uh, we're going to see how it runs in hardcore. Ouch. The damage in regular core mode uh, seems to be a little bit low, but I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Have you unlocked it? This is the the one you have to unlock, or the only way to unlock it right now is to play the DMZ and to extract it from the chemist, which uh, was a wild ride. But... I've noticed the damage, even on hardcore, isn't that great with this weapon, so I, I'm interested to see uh, how core feels for most people. But we're just trying to level it up. That's why you don't run. Stop sprinting, Tacky. We're going to try to play this, you know, slow, tactical, the way it's supposed to be. One of the things that I wish they would do is with that the M13 that you extract with, I wish it would be a blueprint that you could use here. Who do that again? Oh nope, not gonna look there. I, I I wish if you extracted with it, you would get it as a blueprint. But I'm thinking that's going to be sort of like an end of season reward there, uh, since it you can't use it except for contraband in the DMZ. But you know, we'll see. Secure. Kill confirmed. Oh. Shoot her out yeah, okay. So, one of the things I noticed, by the way, Switching a bug, I forgot to show you this, is a hip fire. That is, that is not suppressed, and that sounds suppressed. I don't know if that's just a bug that, that's only on my end, that the enemy can't hear it. Thank you. It just is, uh, it's there, so I don't know if you're going to show up on a red dot or not. I've been loving the way this feels, though, and the, the slowness of it, the ha hardcoreness of it. Oh. See, you got that right there, the damage seemed pretty low. That That's not something like the AK would be doing. I'm sure the AK actually is probably the best weapon for, for hardcore mode overhead. in general, because it's so punchy. It's got a got a big, big hit to it. Oh. Heard it. Oh, I did not mean to pick that up. What do you guys think of the DMZ mode, though? Have you been having fun with it? Have you tried it? Do you prefer the Battle Royale? Me, personally, I prefer the DMZ. I, I think it's a little bit more fun because I am not great at Battle Royales, in all honesty. 
I'm pretty much pretty much just a mid gamer in general. Ouch. Let's go this way. Let's go right. Let's go in here. I try to stay to the outside of the map for the most part. Not an. Oop. There's one up above me. Ready? Sneak up on him. Oh. Why didn't he do the, the execution? Must have held it long enough. There's one here. Woo, there we go. That feels good. One of the things I wish they would do with the DMZ is to make it more of a, um, or give it some sort of outside of the game economy. I feel like that's what it needs, whether that's buying certain attachments for contraband or, or what that looks like. Maybe you can only put a specific number of attachments on contraband. I don't know. I mean, I know it's in beta, so it's going to be changed up a bit, and they're not 100% sure what they want to do with it for sure. But just something that would be nice to give, to give the outside of the game more of a reason, more of a, more of a purpose, I mean. Very tactical. Jump on top of a bus. Oh, I, I hit someone in there. I gotta unlock a few more red dots, because this I am not a fan of this red dot. I do like how my field of view is still pretty big. Pretty wide. But I don't like... Oh, <laughs> and uh, Enemy that, that UAV dot sort of disappears in light. You see that? Oh. Well, that's what I get. Jeez, that's what I'm talking about, man. I am not, not a great aimer. I think I just took his head off. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, bub. Has anybody else, by the way, has anybody else really been getting sick? My whole family right now is just... Including myself. I mean, I'm, I'm okay for the most part, but still, so, still a runny nose. But man, my family is getting toasted. And I just got toasted. I don't know what it is about winter, man. It's been really, really cold here, and it just knocks us out. There's that aim that we're talking about. Missed them all. Get him. Get him. There we go. Oh! Yep. Ooh, that was a decent one, right? Right? Tell me. Oh my gosh, I can't get more than two in a row. I haven't tried it yet, but I would assume that the AK-74U is just a monster at hardcore. EKIA. Thought I almost got my own guy. We'll chuck one. That'll be a good grenade, right? Oh, guess not. Come around. Look at this, I feel real tactical. I'm a big fan of that sound too, the the death sound or the kill sound. Oh, uh, only got an assist. Go get it. Got the tag. Oh, I saw the green. That's happened a few times on me here. Enemy is close. Oh my gosh. The heck is that? Okay, well this is a 7-4-U. I guess we're gonna get to experience that, huh? I'm reloading. Enemy UAV overhead. There's one. Enemy counter UAV Ooh. Well, I think that was what one bullet, maybe, maybe two maximum. Ten seconds remaining. Switching back. All right, got the last kill there. There we go. I'll take the last kill. 
Either way, I've been having a whole lot of fun with this. The M13 recoil feels really good, but the damage, not so much. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe for more, and until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay tactical.